make sure this is sitting right hey guys hope you guys are well oh my god it is so hot in here today just gonna open the window oh lord okay hi everyone long time no see i know i i i'm always disappearing you know what at this point if you're still subscribed to me thank you very much because honestly I don't know why because I don't put videos out but um thank you so much and thank you for clicking to watch this video and um, today's gonna be a really short one um, I'm doing a review about the cult Gaia bag and this is the arc small bamboo bag this bag is super common especially amongst um, like bloggers and um, so I have wanted it for a while now and actually I didn't know it's been around for so long but anyways I stumbled across it and I was like I want this bag and it's been on my wish list for a while and I got it finally bought it um, it costs one second 135 pounds and so when I got it I was like this is what inspired my review we'll see okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring out the, the bag um, as this package we see it together and then I will give you my thoughts on this bag okay um, all right then so I picked this bag up from Netapote and it came in a bag like this and a um, dust bag yes and inside you see the box I think this is the right way I think so yeah so you see the box and I really like the box it's pretty color very simple very minimal I like it and then you open the box okay this is not very good way of showing you guys the product I'm not very good at unboxing this is my first time so bear with eh? bear with okay so you open it and you see this cute little thing in there you're just like oh it's so adorable this bag is so cute I can't even lie I have to say this bag is super cute um, and then that's all that actually comes with it there's like an instruction in there and the usual stuff um, but no one cares about that honestly no one really reads that we just care about the bag okay the bag here's the bag guys the truth is this bag is so cute like it is oh is it so cute it is exactly what i imagined it is i can't lie i i thought i i pictured it to be this but um and it is and so i expected it to come with at least like a little bag to put in there because it is quite see-through so i don't know um so I, I was definitely expecting another bag to come in there but there isn't another bag so this is how you're supposed to carry it um you you can put your phone in there and it's it, i would say it's got quite a bit of space like the way it's designed because the the um, bamboo are quite tightly closed you can't really see your stuff you can't really see um the things you put in there however my question is is it really practical in terms of okay you can put your phone you can put your lip gloss and your sunglasses and yeah keep it cute you know because you don't want people thinking okay she's got too much things in there you have to keep it super cute in this bag like keep it to the bare minimum you can't put just random things but for some people like me i need to have my hand cream i need to have my lip balm i need to have some my tissue in there i need to have a few unnecessary things but are quite essential to me and so i feel like if i put all of that in there you can see it and then it becomes not so cute anymore so i don't know if um this bag would be for someone like me that puts quite a few things in their bag you know um and also my biggest question and my biggest worry about this bag is it feels super it doesn't feel sturdy at all like I, when i move it i can feel like the the wood moving like i feel like i have to be super careful with this bag like if i pay 135 pounds for something i want to be able to swing it like you can be a fan you can be you can be whatever i want you to be like you i don't want to be like careful and be like oh i don't want my bag to break <laughs> like holding my breath no I want to be able to put you on the floor, accidentally sit on you, and I know you're fine. You, do, you, do you understand? Because I'm quite rough with like my stuff. I like my things to be super functional. I am not the type that would spend a lot of money on things that I just want for picture. No, I need it to be practical and I need it to be functional. And I don't think this bag is. I just feel like I, I can't move that much with it. I'm like, <laughs> like I try to walk around with it and I'm like, <laughs> I feel like I'm going to break you. I feel like I'm gonna break you. A few reviews says um, the bag is sturdy, but it doesn't feel it. It really doesn't feel like. It feels like if I sit on it, it's gonna break. I don't want to feel that way. I paid 135 pounds. Well, it costs 135 pounds. I don't want to. 
honestly the for me it's the price is the price and what you're getting yes it is a pretty bag yes it is like perfect for pictures and for summer like you just want to put it there and take loads of pictures and you're just looking cute you know but is it functional is it practical uh, i don't know if you're used to like being super careful with your bag and you're you're happy to like take good care of it and like you just want it for the gram and you just you just want it for summer then yeah good for you like it would it would probably be perfect for you but for me i think i may I may have to return it. I think I will return it. A lot of branded stuff as well. Um, sometimes you're definitely paying for the quality. Absolutely. I do like my, my branded stuff sometimes. But I also feel like you're paying for the name. Okay. So if you want to actually carry the cult Gaia original and you don't want to dupe. Then yes. Do it. Because at least you have, you have it. You know. You can say you have it. But the truth is. Um, I'm not that. I'm, yeah. No. No, I'm not, I'm not the one for that. Like, forget the name. Like, I'd rather carry Zara and I know, like, I can do whatever I want with it without trying to, like, be all, uh, don't look at my bag, it may break. Don't breathe around my bag because it may actually break. Just, just hold your breath, you know, just simmer it in. Don't hold, hold your breath because this bag may break. So, um, yeah, no. I feel like I'm waffling it a lot, but you get what I'm saying. It's pretty, it's perfect um is in terms of the design in terms of what it looks like it is so cute i cannot lie but in terms of how functional it is i don't think it's functional for me especially the fact that i put loads of things in my purse um in terms of things that are not always cute you know if i'm on my period i can't put my tampon in this because they're always gonna say it so then again that's that's another that's another downfall like I guess you can put your tampon in a little purse and then put it in there. But you know, sometimes it just rush in. You get my point, you know? If it rains, can you really carry this out? Maybe not. For the price, like I'll be happy with it if I pay twenty pounds for this, you know? Or if I pay thirty, I will be happy with all with compromising on on like functionality and all these things. But if I paid one hundred and thirty-five pounds for something, I need it to do the job for me. I, I don't want to hold my breath around it. And so this will not be for me. I will return. <laughs> It hurts my soul to say I will return it. Who knows? Maybe I will change my mind, you know? 135 pounds is deep, but maybe we can let that go. I don't know. I will think about it and I will see if I will return it. But there's a 70% chance that I will send this back. And also, on the good side, for some people that cannot afford this, for, honestly, it's not the fact that you can't afford this for 135 pounds it's more the fact that you don't want to spend 135 pounds bearing in mind everything i've said so here's the good news very has a black version i think they have a black ver version as well for 40 pounds <laughs> voila why what why, why won't you though uh, why won't you except the fact that it's not the name and it's obviously a dupe why won't you eBay, which I probably wouldn't trust, um, has one for, I think, for like £20 as well. I'll put pictures up. Um, for £20, like, honestly, if you really like the design of the bag and you don't want to pay that much for it, I'll, I'll do it. Honestly, I will do it. And Zara doesn't have this design, but um, they have like wooden bags. And there's a particular one that's my favorite. That may be the one I will go for. There's a darker bump, is a dark, darker wood, and it's more of a squash. Here's a picture, you know? I may go for that one, and it's $29.99. So those are the dupes for you. So you may just think. Why would I spend that much money when I can get it for cheap? And also, it's not a all-year-round type of bag. It's more of a summer type of bag, honestly. So, I don't see why... Unless you're really willing to splash out, I don't see why you should pay that much money. Honestly. I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. Unless you really, 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 really want it, then good for you. But I don't know. I don't see it. So, um, I hope this has been super helpful for someone um, that's been considering buying this bag. And also with the dupes, sorry, I keep, I'm going to go back to the dupes. In terms of the dupes, if the £135 doesn't feel quite sturdy and it doesn't feel, it feels like it's going to break, 
then I feel like the dupe would be worse. I feel like the quality of the dupe may feel a bit more fragile, you know, because you're paying less and the quality will be less. So you definitely need to consider that as well before going for the cheaper ones. Or you can just buy this, close your eyes and buy this and just have it as your summer bag for a very long time. All right, so I'm going to be keeping quiet now because I have been waffling for a while. So I hope this was helpful. Please subscribe, guys, and I will be doing more reviews and deep videos. And I've actually got loads of reviews I want to do. I just haven't had time to do it in terms of like beauty stuff so and skincare stuff so i will be doing those as well and yeah just keep an eye out for those coming out thank you so much people and i'll see you in my next video probably next year i'm joking it would be soon it will be soon i promise goodbye